yeah so next topic as in your previous class beta that i had explained that fundamental knowledge of periodic table okay last two or three classes that we are studying about periodic table firstly that i explain in brief and then i explain in your last class about in deep and then here also that a little bit that we are going to study about group first the alkalis metals alkalis metals they are also known as first group elements and also they are considered as active metals why they are known as active metals because they can react vigorously okay mm -hmm. okay yes why the place in first group fundamentally you just have to understand that the elements which are placed in that group they contains one electron in their outermost cell okay oh okay. understand yeah and means vig vigorously that means suppose that if you will take a small piece of sodium did, did you see uh, miss uh, your teacher would like to uh, your teacher generally uh, did you go to your science lab miss in chemistry lab um yes we can do that okay okay so in that condition that your teacher uh, did your teacher show did your teacher show you um, sodium or such type of means uh, highly reactive elements or metals um uh, uh you know uh, right now we're doing acidic labs with acid oh okay yeah. but i explain each and everything related to acid over there so <coughs> In in laboratory you are doing that acid. There are general characteristic and properties. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes oh, that okay, okay, okay. I understand then. I understand then. We're also we're testing with the litmus paper and all that. With the acids and the litmus paper. Oh, okay, okay. No problem. Yeah. So that means basically that basic uh, knowledge of acid, bases, and salt that your teacher is giving in laboratory. And that's the good way to understand that about the fundamental properties of acid bases and salt but here that is our alkali is metal beta okay so i can explain that to you beta sodium that is uh, as usually you know that metals are in solid state okay almost all the metals are in solid state there are few metals which are a miss uh, soft which are soft just like a sodium okay and gallium okay that is also gallium is such kind of metal like if you would like to place that on your palm so it would like to melt quickly yes oh yeah and also mercury that is the metal which is in liquid state at room temperature okay Oh, okay. Means suppose that metals they are solid in nature, but exception is your mercury because that becomes in liquid state at room temperature. Okay. Oh yes. Okay. Basically, mercury is used in thermometer. Okay, because it can absorb energy quickly, and it can expand. Okay. Yes. Also, it is a non-sticky liquid. Okay. that means okay. it it cannot stick over glasses okay a glass me suppose that in spite of mercury if you would like to uh, use any other kind of liquid in thermometer so 100% that it would like to stick a little bit amount on glass okay so it is not possible to give accurate reading of temperature okay, okay. but mercury because it's non sticky so that means it didn't used to uh, 
a stick or glass that's why approximately 99 percent it would like to give accurate temperature reading okay okay are you understanding yeah yeah okay so here beta alkali is metal in your first group the elements that means like lithium sodium potassium okay they are very reactive okay they react vigorously with water to produce an alkaline solution okay yes sir understand yes sir so let's start over here you are seeing periodic table on your screen so here that as i explained you in your previous class that if we are talking about periodic table then we would like to compress your transition elements okay over there and then regarding to that one you will be able to see your eight groups over there okay first second and third fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth Oh, it means zero group that is okay oh yeah because i was like wait there's an eighth group yeah. <laughs> hydrogen is independent of periodic table independent in periodic table sorry not of periodic table because oh. that it contains one electron in its outermost cell means basically you know that 90 percent teachers would like to give a question that why hydrogen is independent in periodic table that means you can see that basically that having one electron in its outermost cell so in some of periodic table you would like to see that it would like to be placed over just above the lithium okay hydrogen is above lithium um just above the lithium but that is not in uh, that is uh, that also have the characteristic of uh, uh, metallic characteristic okay as well as non-metallic characteristic both why because it have one electron in its outermost cell so if it would like to lose one electron so that means it will show the electropositive characteristic or not oh yes it would and metals also shows electropositive characteristic okay okay metals can lose electrons okay yes yeah. metals can lose yeah metals can lose electrons okay you can understand that um, i think that 20 times that i explained that sodium having atomic number 11 electronic configuration 281 when it will lose one electron so it will attain the stable electronic configuration to its nearest noble gas neon and form sodium ion okay yes wait um sir the atomic number is 11 for sodium yep okay okay i think that i have to write on a screen so that you can understand clearly just no, see no, no, actually no i actually I'm, i i wrote it in my notebook i, I have it in my notebook no okay as you are writing in your notebook then that is well and good otherwise that you only you have if you want to get efficiency so simply you have to see your class videos uh, if you have free time okay yeah yeah I, yeah I do. sodium yeah. atomic number 11 electronic configuration will be 2 comma 8 comma 1 okay it can lose one because it is having one electron in its outermost cell that's why it is placed in first group okay all the elements in the first group they contains one electron in their outermost cell okay if you would like to see then hydrogen will also be there okay like okay, hi hi yes hydrogen would be in the first group yeah miss that is not in first group but it can be why because you can see that hydrogen is here okay here yeah, you yeah. are seeing in this book that hydrogen is here but if i would like to show you give me one second periodic table what 
Sorry, please. Give me one second. It's okay. Please, I'm writing their periodic table. Oh my god, periodic. <laughs> yep, periodic table 2017. Yeah, images if you would like to see over there. And then I'm opening the first image. Yes, it's coming on your screen. Give me one second. Yep, you can see that. I'm enlarging that. Oh my God. Sorry for that. I think that is getting blur. Uh, but you can see over here that hydrogen that is here. Hydrogen, you can see that just above then lithium or not? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes, it is above the lithium. But above hydrogen... Lithium. Hydrogen is, what color is that? Is that purple or blue? Oh, that's a, means a, it's a blue color a little bit. Oh, so blue is for base. Wait, you can see over here. I think it's a little oh, bit uh, more, uh, more, more, more. Yep, yo, here you can see that. Here you can see this periodic table. It's the latest periodic table, which you are seeing over here. You can see that hydrogen is just above lithium, as I told you just before. Okay, so hydrogen, that means you can see that if uh, you would like to think about that, it can use, it can accept one electron. Okay, one condition is that having one electron in its outermost cell, that's why it can be placed in first group. Okay, yes, and it can also be placed in 14, 15, 16, 17 because it also have characteristic means it doesn't have the electronic configuration with respect to those elements but it can receive one electron to attain the stable electronic configuration of its nearest noble gas helium because one electron there will be in hydrogen when it will receive one electron then there will be two electron or not if it receives one electron, it would be two electrons. Wait, what's it? Say it again. If it's one electron, I'm if it receives... Saying, I'm saying that if it will receive one electron, give me one second. Hydrogen. Yeah. Hydrogen H having electronic configuration, atomic number one, electronic configuration that will also be only one. Okay. Okay. Each and every element in the periodic table, they have a type of tendency to attain the stable electronic configuration by gaining, losing, or sharing electron or not. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes, they do. It can, it can accept one electron, okay, from any other element. It can accept one electron, okay plus one okay and yeah, then yeah. it will it will contain two electron in its cell or not yes yes and two electron that is also in helium so that means it is also following the property of all the elements in periodic table that means each and every element that have the tendency to attain the stable electronic configuration to their nearest noble gas okay okay so that's what I am saying that hydrogen having one electron in its outermost cell, that's why that you are seeing that it is above lithium, okay? But also okay. it can accept one electron, okay? It can accept one electron so that it will be, uh, it will be electronegative, okay? Because it is accepting one electron, okay? And then yes, yes. it will attain the stable electronic configuration of nearest noble gas like helium. Helium having two electrons in its outermost cell. I mean, it's not an outermost cell. There becomes only one cell <laughs> having two electrons there. Okay. 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 So, so um, um, I, I noticed, noticed that, that um, the, um, the atomic, atomic numbers, numbers uh, uh, the, the yeah, the yeah, atomic the numbers. numbers I mean, not numbers, the letters C, N, O, P, S, and F, E, 
That, that is like, like a little a bit of green, green color. color. Why yeah. is you can, you can see that why it is green color? Yeah, I understand your uh, uh, means uh, question. You can see that they are uh, non metals, okay? Yes, yes. So, so why why, why is, is it, why, why isn't is um, um hydrogen, hydrogen in there? Why, why is not why is not why isn't hydrogen? That hydrogen is not there because it because that fundamentally that carbon nitrogen oxygen phosphorus sulfur selenium okay these are the elements which are having almost five electrons six electrons seven electron in their outermost cell okay? okay okay you can see that oxygen atomic number eight two comma six wait two wait i'm writing uh, i'm taking red color yep so oxygen you can see that oxygen atom electronic configuration 2 comma 6 6 electron having 6 electron in the outermost cell okay okay, okay. But, but, sulfur but, sulfur okay. also having 6 electron in its outermost cell okay nitrogen having 5 electron electronic configuration 2 comma 5 5 electron in the outermost cell carbon electronic uh, atomic number uh, uh, yeah atomic number that is six okay electronic configuration two comma four having four electron in the outermost cell so what these element will do okay expecting of carbon because carbon will not lose or gain it will only share okay expecting of carbon so you can lose you can leave carbon but remaining of other five green elements which you are seeing nitrogen oxygen phosphorus sulfur selenium okay these okay. are the elements which can accept electrons okay they you can see there are six electron just to complete their octet they require two electron or not oh, oh, I Yes, so if they are accepting two electron just to attain a stable electronic configuration to their nearest noble gas. Noble gas that means it will be 2 comma 8. That means it will be neon. Okay. Yeah, because It'll neon be atomic number that is 10. Yes, yes. So, 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 so why, why is hydrogen, hydrogen green, green then? then? Why, why is it green? green? Because that if a hydrogen having atomic number one and electronic configuration uh, sorry electronic configuration that will also one okay if it will receive one electron that is plus one so it will also have two electron in the outermost cell and attain the electronic configuration of helium okay yes, yes. because it is receiving electron that means showing electronegative it shows shows electro electro negative electro negative characteristic okay oh. negative electro negative characteristic characteristic characteristics okay electro negative characteristic and electro negative characteristic that is with respect to non metals okay okay, okay. yeah understand so but as usual having one electron in its outermost cell that's why it is placed over lithium okay oh okay yes that's why that sometimes your teacher would like to ask you a question that why hydrogen is independent of periodic table independent in periodic table because that having one electron in the outermost cell it can be placed in group first and also if it will accept one electron then it will attain the stable electronic configuration of nearest noble gas helium that's why accepting electron that means it is showing electronegative property okay that means it could be a non-metal okay that means it is showing metallic characteristic and also non-metallic characteristic okay okay, okay. understand Yes. yes great so that's what that they are also explaining over here oh sorry give me one second give me one second only please 
yeah i'm opening again that yeah here it is so that's why do you understand clearly beta oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. and also beta because metals are metals are those elements which will which can lose electron you can see that when sodium will lose one electron you can see that it will lose electron okay so when it will lose electron that means na minus e minus then it will form sodium ion okay i explained uh -huh. 20 30 times this one to you okay so yeah, yeah. if it is losing 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 that means electropositive okay okay, okay. clear so yeah, electropositive yeah. characteristic that is with respect to with respect to metals okay yes yeah, yeah. clear mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all the elements in the first group why they are placed in first group because they have one electron in their outermost cell okay that's okay. why that hydrogen is also placed above lithium okay but okay. as it can receive electron okay give me one second yeah i'm back so and also it can receive one electron so that's why that it can show electronegative characteristic okay? okay okay do you understand that yeah yeah, 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 yeah. great so all the elements in this group they are very very reactive okay okay, okay. yes means they are so reactive that means you can't place them in open air okay oh it's open air yeah open air that means in uh it's just like as miss open air that means any other material that you can you can write you can place that in open air okay but if you will place like lithium sodium potassium or this type this kind of metals then they will react with oxygen present in atmosphere okay oh, okay and they will oxidize and they will burn okay yeah yeah that's why just to avoid this kind of reactivity they are generally kept in kerosene oil oh, oh kerosene oil. oil yes suppose that if your teacher would like to show sodium or if your teacher would like to give you sodium just for practical so basically she would like to take off sodium from kerosene oil and then you will see that it will be just like as means uh, mm, which color that means it will be a uh, gray in color okay light gray okay or dark gray oh, wow. that can also be okay so okay. because that and when it will come outside in open air then you can see a type of fume that will start to come out if that will be a miss little bit uh, miss a large amount okay oh, wow. yeah if that will be a very small amount then you will not be able to see that fume coming out from there because that instantly that it starts to react with oxygen present in atmosphere okay Oh, okay. okay yes and if you will take a very very small piece of sodium and if you will throw that into water then it will burn over there quickly oh yeah oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah so that's why that you have to learn the general characteristic of first group elements that means they are very reactive beta that's why that they must be stored under oil i mean kerosene oil they are writing here under oil what kind of oil that means most probably that should there should be kerosene oil okay because okay. it becomes cheap and easily available everywhere okay oh yeah, oh, yeah. yes and also yeah why we have to place that in kerosene oil because just to keep 
away from air and water. Okay. 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 Group first elements from alkaline solution when they react with water, they form alkaline solution. Okay. Which is why uh, they are called alkalis metal. Okay. Again, I am repeating my word. Group first elements so when react with water, they forms alkaline solution. Okay. 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 Well, That's I mean, why they are known as alkalis metal. Okay. When we reacted, reacted with, with water, water, they, they form alkaline? alkaline. Alkaline solution. Yes. Okay. Okay. Wait, I'm refreshing that so that. Give me one second. Yes, you can see that here. They are also writing what I explained to you here. Group first element from form alkaline solution when they react with water. Okay, which is why. They are called alkalis metal. Alkaline means what? Having a pH value greater than 7. Okay. That means they will form a basic solution. Okay. Yes. Yes. Understand, Bita? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Or in other way, you can also understand that when metals react with water, they will form metallic oxide or metallic hydroxide. And that compound will be alkaline or basic in nature. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a chemical characteristic of metals. That means when metal react with water, then it will form metallic oxide or hydroxide. Okay. And yeah, yes. Yes. they will be alkaline in nature or they will be basic in nature. Okay. 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 As usual, uh, when I was explaining acid and bases chapter, then I explained that bases are having the pH value greater than 7. Okay. 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 So let's move to the next page. Do you understand the first page clearly, Bita? Yes, yes, I understand. That's pretty to Great. So let's come to the next page and just listen carefully, Bita, because regarding to all these that there are few questions at the last which i will ask you then reaction of alkalis metal with water okay so but basically that you can see that uh, all alkalis metal react vigorously with cold water okay in each reaction, okay. hydrogen gas is given off and metallic hydroxide will produce. Okay. 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 You can also understand this one. I am writing here. Firstly, the word equation that will be. Wait, I have to change color. Give me one second. Yes. Like metal. Metal plus water water that will give you metal hydroxide hydroxide plus hydrogen okay hydrogen so you can understand like chemical reaction that you can understand that metal any of metal you can take like zinc plus water that is h2o that will give you zinc hydroxide zn or zinc oxide means either oxide or hydroxide that it is generally used to make okay so zn oh whole what is the valency of zn Whole twice plus H2. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Understand that? Also, the same thing you can see that is written here. The speed and violence of the reaction that increases as you go down the group. Yes. <laughs> means here, but a trend they are also experiencing that means reactivity that would like to increase as you move from up to down. 
ok? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah, you can see that. Uh, wait, I am refreshing that so that uh, I can underline over there. Um, it's not of underline. I can shade over there. That is important. Yep. You can see that the speed of yeah reaction that as you will go down okay the speed and violence of the reaction that increases as you move down the group this shows that the reactivity of the al alkalis metal increases as you go down the group okay okay, okay. yeah so that means element which will be downwards in the first group that will be most reactive okay okay, okay. understand yeah yeah so lithium when lithium is added to water okay when lithium is added to water lithium floats okay Okay. okay and it will form lithium hydroxide it fizzes steadily and become smaller that means it would like to reduce its size until it eventually disappear okay and one time will okay. come that when it will disappear but the reaction will also be there in reaction you can see that Yeah, reaction lithium plus water that gives lithium hydroxide plus hydrogen. That's why that I told you before that when alkalis metal react with water, they will form metallic hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Okay. Oh, okay. Are you understanding? Yes, yes, I understand. Great. So here you can see that Li plus H2O that will give you LiOH plus H2. Here, after writing reaction, you just have to balance them. I think that I explained balancing to you. Balancing of reaction. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes, you have to practice that one, beta. Lithium and the next that is your sodium sodium you can see that when sodium is added to water the sodium melts to form a ball that moves around the surface okay okay, okay. clear yeah 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 and here beta when sodium react with water that forms sodium hydroxide and hydrogen means basically you have to learn that when metals react with water form metallic hydroxide and hydrogen simple so sodium plus h2 that will form naoh plus h2 okay naoh that will aqueous in form aqueous that means which can dissolve in water and hydrogen gas will also be there okay okay, okay. Do you understand that? Yes, 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 I understand. Next is, yeah, uh, potassium. Potassium, when potassium is added to water, the metal melts and floats. Okay? It moves around very quickly on the surface of water. Okay? The hydrogen gas ignites instantly. Okay? And the metal is also set on fire with spark and a lilac flame. Okay? okay. Okay. That's why that I was saying that it will start to burn or it will burn vigorously. Okay. Lilac, lilac burns? burns. Pardon? Lilac, lilac burns. burns? Miss lilac flame. That means, uh, uh, yeah, it will start to burn. Yeah. Potassium when or uh, it caught fire oh because lilac isn't it, like isn't lilac like a flower 
no no means lilac frame that means that becomes a, i think that a red dark red flower oh, means no wait oh lilac means uh, wait which color that i have to tell you wait oh, means uh, dark orange like flame orange color frame that will be there oh okay, okay. it will spark okay actually that potassium that is highly vigorous as compared to lithium or sodium okay sodium potassium they are very vigorously react with water okay and when their okay. reaction will be then they will start to disappear they will start to uh, means uh, melt and they will float on water and very quickly they will tend to disappear okay and mm -hmm. if the amount of uh, sodium that will be more than a definite amount then it will instantly burn okay and okay. produce a lilac frame okay okay actually lilac uh, that i am not understanding that what, what color that i have to tell me it's dark uh, dark yellow you can say that or means orange you can also say that okay so yeah so there yeah so there will be a type of miss small explosion these are the type of explosive material yeah means not of explosive material it doesn't mean that means you you can use that in explosion no <laughs> means explosive material that means that they will react vigorously and will and will lose its identity very quickly okay very quickly yeah very quickly that when they will come in contact with water they will disappear with a uh, sparking sound okay and lilac flame okay Okay. Understand, Bata? Yes, I understand. Great. So that means you can see over here, Bata, reaction that is also given potassium plus water that will give you potassium hydroxide plus hydrogen. Okay. Okay. Yeah. and it's a water reaction and it's a chemical reaction that is 2k plus h2o that will give you koh plus h2o okay yes yes and next is a strong alkalis a strong alkalis that means the hydroxide forms all the type of yeah in all the type of elements reaction that means here basically that i explained that to you that means when metals react with water then they will form hydroxide okay and hydrogen gas okay so okay. they means you can see that koh naoh okay all these are aqueous okay all these are aqueous in nature aqueous in nature that means they can dissolve in water okay okay yeah that's why you can see that here is written the hydroxides formed in all these reactions dissolve in water to form alkaline solution okay yeah yeah okay so alkaline also beta whose ph value will be greater than 7 or that will be basic in nature also these solutions turns the universal indicator purple okay mm -hmm. yes this one you have to learn these in these solutions turn universal indicator purple okay so that uh, you will easily understand and you will easily identify okay showing okay. that they are, yeah they will convert into purple color that means uh, showing that they are strongly alkaline okay okay it's oh purple is purple is alkaline yeah means if their color if they will turn into purple color they will turn these solutions means like metallic hydroxide 
okay they will turn universal indicator into purple color okay oh you because i thought because universal. i thought blue was i thought blue was acid i mean base i thought blue was base no mm, okay. actually you are seeing that the solution of copper over there okay oh okay yes so there are many characteristic but here that they are saying that whatever metallic hydroxide characteristic that they are explaining here that when metallic hydroxide will react with universal indicator then it will turn universal indicators color purple okay okay yes showing that it is strong alkaline okay okay the strong alkalis are always corrosive in nature yes that means if you would like to uh, spray or if you would like to place a little bit amount of that material over any of other metal or non metal they will corrode that okay or that means they will decrease the intensity of that understand Mm -hmm. yes clear yes they're clear good so come to the third page oh sorry i think that there is something there no no no, no not up there yes give me one second yeah and explaining reactivity so reactivity beta i explained you over there all the elements in the first group they like lithium sodium potassium and all that they are having one electron in their outermost cell okay you can see that okay. lithium 21 sodium 281 okay yeah you can see that lithium 21 oh sorry sodium 281 potassium 2881 okay so you can see that they are having one electron in their outermost cell okay 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 that's why they are placed in the first group okay okay and also you can understand that they can lose this one electron and to attain the stable electronic configuration to their nearest noble gas you can understand in this way that like if so if lithium will lose one electron from its outermost cell then it can also uh, yeah it can also be the uh, stable uh, it can also attain the stable electronic configuration of helium so when sodium would like to lose one electron it will attain the electronic configuration of uh, neon when potassium then it will uh, yeah electronic configuration yeah it will attain the electronic configuration of uh, argon okay 288 understand yes. yes so here explaining trends oh yes so trends if you are explaining or you want to understand so metallic characteristic that would like to if you will move trend that means what will be the effect of metallic characteristic as we move from left to right or up to down in periodic table okay so oh, basically, yes. yeah so basically that if there is periodic table so if we will move from left to right then metallic characteristic that would like to decrease okay okay yeah because that if you are moving that left to right that means across a period okay then okay. metals that will that will uh, slowly change into non metal okay yes yeah. and if we will move from up to down then the metallic characteristic that would like to increase okay increase okay. metallic characteristic increase that means their reactivity that would like to increase okay okay yes and explaining trends here you can see that also the same thing that i explained that just before in your previous page sodium can lose one electron then it will form sodium ion a change like this so when an element will lose electron then that is known as uh, oxidation okay 
that process okay. or it is the example of oxidation beta if any element that is losing electron then that is showing the process of oxidation if any element is accepting electron then that is showing the process of reduction okay oh which, okay yeah which element will show the process of oxidation that will be a strong reducing agent okay okay and which element will show the process of reduction that will be strong oxidizing agent okay okay yes means uh, you can ask me the question that sir how did you learn that i learned in this way that which one will lose electron that will that will show oxidation or not yes yeah? yes it will so when when it will show oxidation so it will be a strong reducing agent okay yes, yes. and which will gain electron like chlorine so that will show reduction and chlorine will strong oxidizing agent clear yes means oxidation then opposite of its strong reducing agent and reduction that means it's opposite that is strong oxidizing agent clear yes sir it's clear okay so that means one more important thing that you have to keep in your mind that each and every element in the periodic table that have the tendency to lose gain or share electron in order to get a stable electronic configuration to their nearest noble gas okay yeah and also the reactivity of group first element okay so reactivity that increases as you move miss reactivity that decreases from left to right and increases from up to down okay okay why their reactivity increases up to down because you can see that the atom gets larger as you go down the group okay yes sir yes there will be least force of attraction towards the nucleus as we move from up to down because when the when the size of uh, when the number of shell will increase then the size of atom that will increase and if the size of atom will increase so that means uh, outermost shell that will be far away from the nucleus or not yes it will yes beta just to understand this one i am recommending you a video on my channel there is topic periodic trends okay of okay in which one that i explain other student about this concept okay so that okay. means as we move from left to right nuclear charge that will increase okay and if okay. nuclear charge will increase then force of attraction that will be maximum okay towards the nucleus and if force of attraction will be maximum then the atomic size will decrease from left to right okay yes and sir. as we move from up to down that you can see that nuclear charge will increase as well as the number of cell will also increase if yes the if the number of cell will increase then outer cell will be a little bit far away from the nucleus or not or central part Yeah. yeah you can understand in this way wait a second lastly that just see on your screen beta as we move from up to down you can see that the size that would like to increase okay okay yeah miss a little bit roughly that i am explaining that to you okay so what and as you move from up to down that you are saying that size is increasing what does it mean it means that size is increasing that means number of cells are increasing okay mm -hmm. and if number of cells are increasing that means outer cell that will be a little bit far away from the nucleus or not 
yes yes it will so beta in that condition if that will be far away then force of attraction force of attraction that will be least okay yes yes it will that's why its size will be maximum okay okay and as we move from left to right so as we will move from left to right so nuclear charge that will increase that's why that force of attraction towards nucleus that would like to increase so that's why its size that will decrease okay yes yeah like this so in that condition it will happen because you can clearly understand that when there will be maximum number of nuclear charge then they will they will apply the force of attraction towards the nucleus okay and yes. that's why that the size of atom that will decrease okay or atomic size will decrease okay okay here you can see that force of attraction yeah force of attraction that is increase or maximum okay while moving left to right and up to down while moving that will be least while moving up to down okay okay when force of attraction will be maximum then it will tend to squeeze the size of atom or not yes yes it will and when the force of attraction that will be least oh sorry so it will when the force of attraction that will be least then the size that will be maximum and then you can see that its reactivity will be maximum okay yeah so thanks a lot beta and i will upload your video within few hours on my channel you can see this one also and also beta i am requesting you to see there is also a video of other student regarding to the topic periodic trends okay 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 so thanks a lot beta have a great time bye bye great right, thank you sir bye